Welcome to drawing every incarnation of Doctor Who without references, just from memory. Starting at the beginning, obviously. A lot of people think of the first Doctor as being overtly grumpy, and that definitely there's an element of that, but I wanted to capture a bit of a twinkle behind that, because that always stood out to me, that he's really having fun, you know, William Hartnell's really having fun with the part, and that shows through with the Doctor. He's, he's got a warm twinkle, coupled with a sort of grumpy, stern attitude, and I wanted to capture something that hinted at both. I think that's the interesting thing, so I was approaching this less as a technical test. I'm not comparing them with the actual actors after I'm done, you know, did I fail or did I succeed, because this isn't really about that. Instead I'm kind of interested in this as an experiment of what do I think of when I think of the Doctors, you know, how do their personalities and the traits that really stand out to me translate visually into uh, their face. I think it's very interesting, this obviously especially applies to fan art, to experiment with divorcing the exact likeness of the actor and focusing in on the personality of the character. You know, making it less about technically does this look exactly like John Pertwee and being like, does this look like the third Doctor? And I think that's a really interesting thing to play with and that's kind of why I wanted to do this. You get something a lot more caricatured and I think sometimes a bit more character full and sort of soulful because if you spend all your time focusing on whether it looks like John Pertwee or not, I feel like it's easy to lose character a bit, you know, sort of a, a, a coy smile or a twinkle in the eye because you're so focused on is the chin in the right place, are the eyes in the right place. So I enjoyed focusing a lot more on just in my head what, who the characters are. So, for example, the fourth Doctor, obviously, his his large volume of hair, and I think of him as kind of chaotic and very inappropriately grinning at, at the wrong moments with, with that huge grin that really shows off his teeth. So, what we've ended up here is a very, you know, face creased by that grin. The grin is kind of everything. And then the hair. So we've got this kind of gr demented grinning bush. Um, which is obviously not exactly what Tom Baker looks like, but is to me exactly what the fourth Doctor looks like in my headspace. Because of this whole uh, concept, a lot of these are ultimately quite unflattering to the actors and uh, for that I apologise but I, you know, I hope you get what I'm saying I definitely wasn't trying to capture the actors and you know, anything that makes their faces The Sixth Doctor kind of feels like a Victorian doll to me, with his eyelashes and his very pinched mouth and nose. He looks like a Victorian doll of a, like Victorian aristocratic child, like a little, little child doll.
I wanted Sylvester McCoy to have the sort of cheeky, fun-loving look of his earlier seasons, and then I had this idea that the hat, the, the lighting would be from above, so the hat would cast this shadow over his eyes, which would hint at his more devious ways from later seasons. Similar to with William Hartnell, I wanted to get the duality of his character in the both sides. I do think my style is a little inconsistent in this video. I was really doing it case by case, thinking how I wanted to draw each doctor, so some of them feel a bit more realistic. You know, this one in particular has a more kind of comic book realism to it, more so than perhaps the second doctor one, which felt perhaps more Disney-esque, very soft and stylized. And it was really just feeling it out based on the, the characters and how I felt they should come across. My style to me feels a little claymation-y, a little bit like stop-motion puppets, because I'm not super interested in anatomy. Obviously to some degree I am, but not. I'm not a huge stickler for it. So I'm really into stylization, but I still like to get a sense that g these are like 3D tangible objects. You know, in that sense, it, they kind of feel like stop-motion to me. You know, like someone stylized them and then made a, a puppet out of them, and that's what I'm drawing. <laughs> I would apologise for this rendering of the Tenth Doctor to David Tennant. Uh, he he doesn't look this grotesque, but this is honestly, you know, if I close my eyes, think of the Tenth Doctor. This is this is what I see. It's interesting, I definitely found the 11th to 13th Doctors really easy to capture, or they kind of flowed out, I didn't have to think so much about them, and I guess that's purely from them being sort of my Doctors, you know, they're my kind of contemporary Doctors, they're mainly what I watch every week when the show is on, you know, for the last uh, couple of years, so their characters are very fresh to me and very current so they kind of leaped out of my mind a bit more. I 
knew immediately that I specifically wanted to draw series 10 uh, 12th Doctor because that's definitely his heyday and when the character is most firing on all cylinders. I, I briefly thought about drawing a sterner early 12th Doctor but there was really no competition. I wanted to have the sunglasses in there but I also wanted to draw his eyes because I wanted to, it to be really expressionful and characterful so I arrived at this idea of having them up like that you know on his forehead which I think really suits him. <laughs> Thirteenth Doctor had to be happy. I mean, that's just immediately what I think when I think of her. And I wanted her to be sort of looking up. She's looking at something high up, you know, maybe something in the sky, one of the wonders of the universe. Uh, well, as always, really thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything you think I should draw or any more challenges you think I should do. I'd, re I'd really love to know. I'm really pleased with how these turned out. I uh, hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you had fun. And I'll see you next time. Peace out, hot dogs.